Inflation, price rise, higher rates of interest, debts, loans, economic growth. These terms keep hitting the headlines. The government says the inflation is under control. The opposition says the government has failed to control inflation. Amidst all this, you and I are paying through our nose for the basics. Onions, tomatoes, rice, roti. The weekend restaurant bill is painfully big. You are forced to think twice before swigging a weekday dinner. This, in a nutshell, is what food inflation boils down to. You are paying more for food while your salary remains the same. What is inflation? Inflation means rate of change of price over a period of time. Inflation is not just a price rise. It is the rate of increase in prices or rate of increase in the cost of living. It is measured in various methods across the world. The Indian government uses the Consumer Price Index or CPI to measure inflation. In this video, we are looking only at food inflation. The inflation numbers are derived from household surveys to identify a basket of commonly purchased food items. The cost of purchasing this basket over a specific time period is calculated. The rate of increase in this purchasing cost is the food inflation rate. The central government's National Statistical Office or NSO releases CPI details periodically. If inflation is at low, say 2 to 4 percent, it keeps the economy healthy. When inflation rises rapidly, it affects the purchasing power of the common man. Take the case of Jyoti, a domestic help in Chennai. She earns rupees 20,000 a month and sends her two children to college. <laughs> ஏன்பாடுபோகிறேன் Jyoti has redesigned the family meal plan to adjust for the price rise. They are finding alternatives to run their lives. Are these alternatives healthier? That's the tricky question. If you eat a chutney, you can eat a chutney. You can eat a chutney. You can eat a chutney. ஒரு நாள் வந்து நல்ல காய்கறிகள் நல்லா சமைச்சு சாப்பிட்டோம்னா மதியான வேலையில் அடுத்த நாள் வந்து ஒரு அப்பளம் பொறிச்சிட்டோ இல்லை வந்து ஒரு ஊறுகாவை தொட்டுட்டோ சாப்பிட்ருவோம் அடுத்த மறுநாள் வந்து திருப்பியும் வந்து வேறு ஏதாச்சும் ஒரு மாற்றங்கள் மாற்றிட்டு வரோம் நாங்கள் Experts say the long delay in updating consumer price index and calculating the data which was supposed to be taken in 2012 do not reflect the current economic activity in India. The consumer price index weightage should also be updated based on the current spending of the Indians. The price of beans is Rs 250 per kilogram. Carrots costs close to 100 rupees per kilogram. The humble brinjal costs rupees 60 per kilogram. Okra, lady's finger has touched 100 rupees a kilogram. Whether Virat Kohli hits a century or not, our vegetables are touching 100 rupees per kilogram with ease. Non vegetarian foods like mutton costs rupees 700 to 800 per kilogram. Chicken costs anywhere between 200 to 250 per kilogram. And the last resort, Fish costs rupees 200 to 1000 per kilogram based on the variety of fish. I met agricultural economist Venkatesh Atreya for some professional insight. Our economic system has an inbuilt tendency to inflation in certain basic commodities, says Atreya. The Reserve Bank of India has, a, has in mind what they call a target inflation rate. They don't want inflation to exceed somewhere between 4 and 6 percent. And one of the reasons why they kept interest rates high, despite discussions in the Monetary Policy Committee that it should be lowered and so on, is because their perception is that uh, prices could rise and then we could go over the limit we have set for ourselves. Government of India, on the other hand, tries to play down the threat of inflation because they want to show that they are doing very well and all that. Now, it's a bit tricky because we are now much more uh, open as an economy. Now the sum of exports and imports to India's GDP exceeds 55 to 60 percent. So what happens in the rest of the world matters a lot. Take the example of grain, very fundamental to India, right? Uh, once we had the public distribution system in place, 
with a country wide uh, distribution of retail outlets where you can go and buy your you know 10 kilos of rice or whatever and then we ensured supplies from farmers by offering them reasonable prices then we completely stabilized grain prices see inflation cannot be treated purely as an economic phenomenon okay, there is an economic angle to it but if you allow a lot of speculation to occur in essential commodities then you are risking uh, unsustainable rates of inflation especially because unlike before 1991 now you are much more exposed to the world economy so whatever happens in the world economy can impact on you governments now have an obligation to try and protect their populations against this by appropriate stocking procurement policies but uh, some people in the monetary policy committee for example feel that the high rates of interest what they call high rates of interest being charged to capital is hurting growth because uh, whereas the rba says that no if i lower the rate of interest uh, now this could lead to an inflationary spiral uh, but this whole discussion is for the elite for the large mass of people prices are rising and they don't have any means to protect themselves when will the prices of essential products come down droughts floods lethal heat waves have significantly reduced the supplies of food products like pulses vegetables cereals this year curbs on food exports and reducing tariffs on imports have had little effect if the monsoon cooperates vegetable prices may ease from august till then we keep our fingers crossed